Hi, welcome to Best Music Shorts. I'm Sol, your favorite host. In today's episode, we will showcase some of Miss Sun Yeolun's accomplishments. Sorry, Sun is a South Korean classical pianist. She first drew international attention in October 2004 at age 18 when she appeared as a soloist performing Miss Piano Concerto One with the New York Philharmonic uh, conducted by Lauren Mazel on her Asia tour in Seoul and Japan. Sun took her first piano lesson at the age of three and a half. I hope you enjoy uh, the video and subscribe if you do. Bye. Korea's representative piano maestro Son Yarim. Since her first accomplishment at the International Tchaikovsky Competition for Young Magicians as the youngest second prize winner at the age of 11, Son Yarim concurred various prestigious music competitions with the titles Youngest, First and Best. Then in 2011, Son Yarim won the second prize at the International Tchaikovsky Piano Competition, which was an unprecedented accomplishment for a Korean artist. Son Yarim is also known for the relentless passion to take on challenges and became the Vice Artistic Director of the Pyeongchang Music Festival and School earlier this year. Pianist Son Yarim is a true leader of K-classical music. Let's take a glimpse at the interview into her artistry and journey as a magician and a person. <laughs> I think that picture has taken when I was three months in, um, in Korea, in my town, Wonju, the city that I was born. And this is uh, with my dad, and the, um, the picture, Karayan, is behind. I'm um, Karayan conducting. In that picture, obviously, um, I was not playing, but um, I was pretending to... Um, playing and that piano was my mom's and my mom used to be a, a accompanist so I had a piano in my home when I was born.
please welcome young piano maestro Son Yodum. Yodum, welcome to the interview. It's Thank so you. wonderful to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, now, I know you've been traveling back and forth between Korea and mm -hmm. Germany uh, for some time. Mm -hmm. You're studying there, I believe? Right. I've been studying there since 2006, so it's been already 10 years. I was 20 and now I'm 30, oh, <laughs> so it's wow. been quite a while. And what do you study there exactly? I mean, do you have anything more to that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, because music is a life learning thing. Sure. And, yeah, and I love uh, working with my teacher. Yeah. It's not really like a student and teacher relationship. I, you know, we're more like a f friend okay. relationship. And yeah, I mean, I just uh, like being there. I love the city, Hanover, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I just like the atmosphere. So I just, yeah, stay stay there every okay. once in a while. Isn't it tough going back and forth though? Uh, no, I'm used to it, and, and it's it's actually nice because um, you you leave whenever you feel tired, and <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah. It's, it's, Nice. Nice. So whenever you get bored of one place, right. you go back to, you your, go to the other place. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Um, now you have this reputation as an artist, a performer who never really stops challenging herself. <laughs> um, and I think that's especially true this year, what with all your performances. And you've actually released uh, another album, your first in four years, called right. Modern Times. Can you tell us more about the album? Uh, yeah, I just released a new album in February this year. Mm -hmm. The album's named after the very famous title Modern Times because yeah. it contains uh, pieces which were written in 1910s and uh, all the works were written in between 1910 to 1920 and all the uh, very famous works from, from the time and I, uh, just by coincidence, I love this particular period okay yeah because of many many reasons um especially because of uh me being a classical pianist um as an asian uh girl mm. uh, because that particular period i think uh it was really the very first uh time that the east uh, and west met each other okay yeah and um the world world really opened itself and mm. um uh, not only as a musician, I feel everything like uh, what I wear and what I eat or how we live now is truly connected to that particular period. Right. Yeah, so uh, I was really always very interested in that period and also the music's uh, Stravinsky's Ravel's and, and Prokofiev and Beck, mm -hmm. Beck. Uh, all those works are really just fascinating to me. So it just, um, I wonder if that was challenging because all of those pieces were really fun to work. Yeah. Yeah. 